2023, there are many smartwatch brands. To name a few, we've got popular brands like Apple, Samsung, Google, and Xiaomi. Today, we'll be having a look at the Cospec Tank T2 smartwatch, a smartwatch that is great for indoors and outdoors activities, and has been my daily driver for the past three weeks. Started with the unboxing, this watch comes in a really nice looking box. So as you can see, it looks really fancy. At the back, we do have the main features of this watch, including waterproof, drop proof and shock proof we'll be talking more about those features later in the video and of course this watch was designed in the united states and of course it does have two years warranty so opening the magnetic lid of the box we will be presented with the watch with the watch bands depending on which one you choose you may get the included to special edition stainless steel watch band which is the one i have right here so the watch band itself is made of stainless steel it's a kind of a grayish darker color which matched the watch and you will also get a silicone watch band i've been personally using the silicone watch band but if you want you can also use the included stainless steel watch band which feels pretty strong and durable on the left side of the box you can see all 12 military tests that this watch have went through deeper into the box you'll find an additional user guide which shows you exactly how to use the watch a charger to charge the watch itself a little screwdriver for adjusting the special edition metal watch band so that's going to allow you to remove some of the clips right here and some cleaning accessories for the application of the tempered glass screen protector although it comes with a tempered glass the screen of the smartwatch is made of gorilla glass featuring a 1.43 inch amoled display with a resolution of 466 by 466 making the watch to be more battery efficient than other lcd display watches the all metal body gives an extra protection from drops so it does have a rugged style there's two buttons on the side, including the power button and of course the sports button right here. And like I said, the band size is adjustable and of course you can remove to switch for the silicone band. All you have to do is simply push the little clip right here. And in the back right here, of course, we do have the charging pin to charge the watch. And we do have the sensor right here, the speaker, and we have the microphone on the left hand side of the watch to make phone calls. Taking only two hours to fully charge the watch, the battery will last an average up to 15 days with a standby time of 50 days. I've been using the watch for average daily tasks without the fancy sports mode for the past two weeks and a half. It did came pre-charged at 84% and went down to 25% after two weeks. You do have the option to turn on always on display. Simply go to settings, then go to watch phases and themes, turn on always on display. It is going to give you a warning that it will have a shorter battery life. And if it do turn off the watch, as you can see, we do have the always on display. We do have the time and the date. And that's the main information that you'll get. So if you do tap on the display, nothing is going to happen. But if you do turn on the watch again, it's going to show you the home screen. The Cospec Tank T2 is a military certified passing the military standard 810H, making the device holding up in high and low temperatures, rain, wind, humidity, fungus, rust, sand, and dust, explosive atmospheres, shock, gunfire, vibration, and more. With its metal frame, the watch is able to hold up from drops and car crushing. The watch, of course, is waterproof rated at IP69K with standing up to 50 meters of water pressure. Therefore, it can be used for daily activities such as swimming, diving, and surfing. The main key features of this watch includes being able to monitor your heart rate, your blood pressure, and your blood oxygen level. Thanks to its VP60 sensor and the latest Realtek single chip processor. So I'm going to do a quick walkthrough of the watch. So if you do tap on the power button, this basically turn on the watch. Tap it again and this simply turns off the watch. If you're in the watch and you're doing something and you tap on the power button, this also act as a back button. The second button right here act as a sports mode. So let's say if you want to do some exercises, walking, diving, swimming, badminton, tennis, and you want to track your activity all you can do is simply scroll to the right and then click on workout and here we do have the 70 sports modes that i've talked about earlier in the video so there's a lot of sports right here as you can see but to have a quick access to that list all you have to do is simply tap on the sports mode button and it goes directly to that list 
That's pretty cool. You can choose, let's say, walking. Just a quick example. And as you can see here, we do have the time, the pace, how much, how fast you walk, the distance, and your heart rate. If you scroll to the left side, here is your music control. You can pause, play, skip songs, increase and decrease volume. And of course, if you swipe to the right side, it basically pauses. So as you can see, the time is currently at zero seconds because it cannot sense your heart rate. So let's say if I put it on my wrist, like this, as you can see, it senses my heart rate and it's starting the activity. So of course, we do have a live view of the heart rate. This is for the raise to wake feature. So just to show it to you guys right here, if I raise the watch, the display turns on. So that's pretty cool if you do not like that feature you can turn it off and this is once again the brightness this is do not disturb and this is the different list view as you can see we do have a few options right here I do prefer the list view that comes pre-installed on the watch swiping from the right of the watch you can have a music player uh, your daily activities, this basically counts your steps, the calories you've lost. And here is your heart rate, the maximum, the minimum heart rate. As you can see, this is blood pressure, blood oxygen level, the weather. You can also add other components, you can also delete, you can readjust the position of these apps. You can also have other apps such as state monitoring, call, workout list. This is the pre-installed wallpaper. I really like it because you're able to see the time right here and also right there as well. The date, also the steps, the battery life of the watch. And if you do not like this wallpaper, you can change it. There are five pre-installed wallpapers on this watch. All you have to do is simply tap and hold the display and then simply swipe to the left for the other watch faces. If you want other watch faces, you can download the app. Nap can be installed from the App Store or Google Play Store, allowing you to track and monitor your steps, heart rate, and sleep. Additional features are available in the app, such as downloading new watch faces and turning on notifications specifically for certain apps to appear on the watch. The good thing about this watch is that you'll be able to receive incoming notifications, such as emails, text messages, Facebook, Instagram notifications, and much more. You can also use this watch to answer phone calls or to make phone calls. What I like about this smartwatch is that you're able to control the music on your phone so you can play, pause, you can also increase and decrease the volume. So just to show where you are here, the watch is connected by Bluetooth to my phone right here as you can tell. And if I do tap on decrease volume right here, as you can see it actually works. You can also increase the volume. You can also play or pause, skip to the next song, go back to your previous song. And the other cool feature that I like is that you're able to play either YouTube music or YouTube video or you can even play a Spotify or using the music app. Just simply play a music from the watch speaker itself. So I'm going to show you guys right now so you can play or pause. So right now the music is playing from my phone and not from the watch. You can increase the volume and decrease the volume. You can also pause the music, so that's pretty cool. And of course, if you do want to play the song from the watch itself, all you have to do is simply go to settings. So the quick access to settings is by going right here, then scroll down to sound and vibration, turn on media audio, So yeah, the watch itself can get pretty loud. The sound quality of the speakers is pretty good. Uh, it's not as bad as some other smartwatches. And yeah, I've got to say it's pretty loud. So the good thing about the Cospec Tank T2 smartwatch is that it is IP69K rated. 
so it is waterproof it does have um, waterproof for the microphone of course waterproof for the speakers so you do not really need to worry about that so here i do have a glass of water regular temperature a little bit cold and here is the smartwatch itself you can put it in and there will be no problems at all as you can see this display is still turned on and here is the water itself all right so the watch has been underwater for about six minutes let's take it out and see if it still works and here is the watch itself as you can see the watch still survives when it comes to waterproof so yeah, you can swim with this. If you drop this in your pool, it is going to be fine. So guys, if you want to check out this watch, I'll leave all the links down below in the description. And of course, if you did enjoy watching this video, make sure to give it a big thumbs up, subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. And I'll catch you guys in the next one. Peace out.